Hello everyone, this is Judy coming to you from my scrapbook loft. And um, I have some craft hacks and I know I'm late, but better late than never. Um, first of all, one of my craft hacks is on the glitter glue, I have two of these tips. And what I do is I have 100% acetate in this little instant coffee jar. And what I do is after each big project, I take one of the tips off and I put it in this acetate and I take out the clean or the one that needs to be cleaned up after the glue has turned loose in the acetate and I clean it up as you can see look at that see all that glue it's turned to gel and I take my handy dandy little tweezers here and I just start pulling that stuff out and I clean it up real good I just did my nails yesterday, but I've already got them in a mess, so it's not going to matter about this acetate. And then I take the pin out of the other one on the glue bottle, and I start pushing it through. And I just take my tweezers, and I just clean it up. And it gets cleaned up real good and nice. But I had already changed this one out last week. So I'm not ready to put it in the jar. But I leave these in the jar in between my projects. Now to put my pen back in my glitter tip. Fingers are shaking. And then I take a rag. I keep all old t-shirts for this right here. Put that in there. And then I clean up my scissors. It gets all of the glue and the score tape, everything off. These little ones I'll dip down in there a little bit. Be some more on my rag. Okay, and I've got those cleaned up. I do. I use it on my tweezers to get any glue off the tips of those. And the way I just, the way I discovered this, I'm sure some of you probably already knew about it, but the first time I ever got gel nails done. I had them on a few weeks and I wanted to take it off and I kept trying to use fingernail polish and it wouldn't take it off. So someone told me, he said, you need to get 100% acetate to take the glue off, the gel off your nails. So I was here in my craft room one day and I thought, well, I'll work on my nails while I'm here. And when it took the gel off, I thought, why wouldn't that work 
for the glue in this tip. And it did. This is my painting mat. And it did. So that's how I came by that. And I always throw those rags away. And in between, on my scissors, in between uh, the big cleaning, I used baby wipes to get the glue off. And believe it or not, they clean it up. I'm sure you all already know that. Now I have another little hack for glue on acetate. Here's a sheet of acetate. And I cannot use acetate without getting glue all over it. So, I show you. Get glue on there. See that glue? Well, I discovered that alcohol and a cotton ball I don't throw away jars either. You see that big instant coffee jar? That's full of cotton balls. Put alcohol on my cotton ball. And the glue's gone off of your acetate. And you just take a dry rag then and dry up the alcohol. Works every time. I, I was so aggravated because I kept getting glue on my acetate, and it looked awful. I thought, there has to be a way of doing this. So, I thought, well, if it'll take adhesive off of mirrors and stuff, why wouldn't alcohol take adhesive off of acetate? It smears it up, but you can take a dry rag, and you can clean that up. Then you no longer have glue streaks on your acetate. So, people, that is my, <laughs> look at my Dale sound, my hack, my craft hack for Alicia Wagman 510. And I know I'm late. Um, I don't know if any of you know anything about fibromyalgia, but I have fibromyalgia. And um, there's days when I cannot get out of the bed. In a month's time, let me put it this way. In 21 days, I had spent 15 of those days in the bed with my fibromyalgia. So there will be days when I will be uh, not on YouTube or Facebook because it's I'm just too sick. So, <clears throat> I don't know. How did I get off on that? <laughs> I didn't come on here to tell you all that. But anyway... There are my craft hacks. And I thank you for watching. Hugs to you from me. Bye.